and the Women's Impact Conference was incredible. This has been an amazing conference. I re reminisce and think about when we started with less than 50 women. And today it was a complete sellout. Also, there are a lot more men coming out as well because they want to hear what the women think. I had a great time. The guests, the interaction, the atmosphere, the energy. The response from everybody has been so good. Went to great seminars. It's really the perfect kickoff to um, Jazz and Garnish. Without further ado, I want to introduce to you some of the phenomenal people that we have here today that have written some very inspiring books. During the 2014 Women's Impact Conference and Luncheon, women of varied races, creeds, and cultures gather together for a celebration of innovative ideas, cutting-edge business strategies, and a plethora of self-discovery activities to inspire, motivate, and encourage women to live, pursue, and take advantage of life's endless possibilities. My book chronicles my journey from childhood, beautiful Jamaica, um, that childhood interrupted by chronic childhood sex, sexual abuse, uh, started at age eight and um, chronicled all of that, the good, the bad and the ugly and the overcoming of it. Behind the Mask from a Child Abuse Survivor is about my life story, how I survive as a child, living on the street, being abused, watching my mother get chopped up. This book entails the life of abused children, what they encounter, what they feel, what they do. It is not a joke. It was an amazing experience to be among lots of empowered women today. The session was exceptional. As you see, it was crowded. And the women's response and questions and enthusiasm showed that it was a very necessary one to repeat every year. Attendees were entertained and engaged by a fabulous panel of distinguished experts and celebrities who delivered powerful tips, tools, and motivational stories that were sure to inspire the audience. Somebody worked hard! Somebody suffered, somebody gave something of themselves for us to be able to use our voice, find our voice, speak up, live our lives out loud, be what? Fabulous all day long. I thank everybody for inviting me to speak at this engagement. We've been promoting my new book, Redefining Diva, and selling the what? fabulous t-shirts. So I look forward to greeting everybody at Jazz in the Garden. This year's event featured breakout sessions that included such topics as the controversial Is It Really a Man's World Part 3? Highway to a Husband. Women in Politics and Business Nurturing Your Power and Influence. Beautiful You and many more. In the panel It's a Man's World. It's always heated every year. Jazz in the Gardens is one of the, the highlights of of the conference. My answer was, no, it's, it's completely a woman's world. We, we do everything, yeah, they're in charge, if they're not in charge, we're trying to impress them. And I just felt that I had to bring my level of expertise to let the ladies know it's a man's world, but what we do every day, a man is, is trying to take that world and bring it to a woman. Like my name says, Julie Mansfield, it's a man's field, but honey, it's a woman's world. Let's start getting real about what's going on. Make some better choices. If we shift our thinking and, and own our power, know our power, it is our world. We get things done. We move things. And I love the fact that Jazz in the Gardens is doing something different like this with the Women's Impact uh, Conference, as well as other aspects that can empower women. And I love that. In honor of Women's History Month, and in conjunction with the annual Jazz in the Gardens Music Festival, the City of Miami Gardens Women's Impact Conference and Luncheon celebrates the many accomplishments of women of the past while empowering women of today. And that kind of power can change the world for the better. I am